we're about a month into the official start of spring. We've got April showers now, May flowers on the way. Pollen is creating chaos everywhere, but also the beauty that we're about to witness. Today, let's talk through some ways to use this season of life and nature to renew, refresh, and create your best work yet. Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. My name is Dustin Peed, creative coach and consultant. So excited to be with you today, April 18th, to renew, refresh, and recommit Springtime Inspirations for Creative Minds, episode 62. Can't wait to get into that with you today. But first, I want to remind you that I'm here to help creatives know themselves, their process, and their teams so that they can create greater things together. If you're listening to this on an audio podcast platform, Thanks so much for listening. I would love a five-star rating and review. Uh, if you'd be so kind, that would help get this content out even further to those like yourself who could benefit from it. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for tuning in to the short episode that we release every single week on Thursdays. Uh, we'd love for you to like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you're notified every time new content gets added. You can find me on social media all over the place, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, at Dustin Peed, P-E-A-D. Or you can go to DustinPeed.com and click on the Let's Talk button for a free consultation on your creative process or work. On to the show. I'm so very excited. It's springtime. Things are happening. Everybody is still kind of figuring out where they're landing on their uh, 2024 goals or resolutions and how things are going. We've got a quarter in. I've got my quarter two full focus planner in full effect and uh, I've adjusted some things accordingly and I've got some really great uh, things coming up that I cannot wait to share with you. It's going to be so awesome when I get to share this with stuff with you. Uh, but today I want to talk about this whole springtime and how it can encourage us to uh, renew, refresh, and recommit uh, things in our creativity or in our process. So winter is super tough. I really hate that I have my birthday during this dreary season. My birthday's in January. I get it. Winter is 100% necessary. I probably blogged about it or did a podcast about it at some point about how we need the we need the kind of the cold to kind of come in and cover things up so that we can have this whole thing right. Nature is resting and there's so much going on behind the scenes during the winter months and I know it's beneficial to the upcoming year. Oh, but I really hate winter. I hate it. I famously have said after Christmas for many, many years now that there's no point in winter after Christmas. To me, after Christmas, starting December 26th, winter is dead to me. I don't want it. I don't need it. Just get me to spring as quickly as possible. I want to feel the warmth of the sun again. One of my favorite all-time shows, Seinfeld, which if you're watching on YouTube, you can see that I have a Lego Seinfeld set uh, behind me over my left shoulder. George Costanza famously says this. He says, spring, rejuvenation, rebirth, everything's blooming, all that crap. That's what we've got to look forward to right now in the month of spring. It makes me laugh every single time. But I want to give you today just three practical steps that you can take this season to inspire you towards your best year yet. I do believe this can be our best year yet, even though we're already uh, in the spring, we're in the second quarter of the year. It's not too late uh, to make it our best year yet. It's never too late to make it our best year yet. So here's what we want to talk about today. Three ways to inspire you towards the best year yet. Renew, refresh, and recommit. Here's what I mean by that. Now is a great time during the spring to renew the passion for your work, right? You've spent three, four, five months or so the beginning of this year and you've been putting in the work, and you've been putting in the work, like I talked about on last week's episode, maybe you've disconnected a little bit from why you love doing that work so much. And so if there's anything that you can do to renew your passion for the work, do that. 
whether it be uh, rereading a book. Like for me, I love uh, rereading books. And so one, there's a book that I love to reread uh, from Austin Kleon called Show Your Work. It allows me to renew my passion for the work that I'm doing. And it gets me excited all over again to, to, to get into those things and to share those things. So first thing I want to ask you to do is to renew the passion for your work, whatever way that you can. Read a book again, go on a walk, uh, reconnect with your why, spend a day uh, meditating, contemplating, journaling, going out and using a creative fuel day that we've talked about on here before. Whatever that is, renew the passion for your work will help you thrive in this season of life right now. Second thing, refresh. Refresh your perspective. Now, this is something that I found and I've been talking a lot uh, with some friends lately about collaboration. And this is where I think collaboration really takes uh, takes root for me. Yeah, there's community there. Yeah, there's a social aspect there. There's, you know, for people like me who are extroverts, we, we really kind of thrive in those environments. But even more than that, collaboration helps me to refresh my perspective. It helps me to see things from a different view and go, wow, I, I used to look at it that way, but I, I've, I've kind of gotten away from that. Maybe I need to refresh that perspective and go back to again, or I've never looked at it that way. Maybe I need to uh, kind of turn this thing on its head a little bit and take it from a different angle, take this project or this problem, right? Cre- creativity is problem solving at its best. So we're going to take this and we're going to refresh that perspective. I love in the movie uh, Big Hero 6, right? My kids love that movie. We watched it so, so many times. Uh, I love in that movie that his older brother, before he dies, he, he encourages his younger brother to uh, kind of shake things up, turn things upside down, and see things from a different perspective. And when he does that, he immediately has a new creative solution for the problem that he's working on. So renew your passion for the work. Refresh your perspective, uh, especially through community and getting uh, someone someone to kind of come in and collaborate with you. And last thing is recommit. Recommit to creating your best work today. I talked about this a little bit last week in last week's episode, but we are not in control of the outcome. We are just supposed to be uh, faithful um, to the work that's in front of us, that we have been entrusted with this gift of creativity. We've been entrusted with this gift that we have of today. So let's take today and the creativity that we've been blessed with and recommit to doing our best work today with those things that we have at our disposal. You can sit around all day and think about all the things that you don't have and all the opportunities that that aren't coming your way and all the uh, creativity that someone else seems to have over you, but none of that matters. It's it's strictly noise that is blocking you from creating your best work ever. And so I want to encourage you today to recommit to creating your best work today with what you have in front of you today. If it's nothing but a camera and a microphone like I have right now, recreate or recommit to creating your best work today. And I promise you, if you renew your passion for the work, you refresh your perspective and you you recommit every single day to creating your best work that day, you will have the best year ever and you'll create some of the greatest stuff that you never even thought was possible that you could create. So I would love to help with, uh, I'd love to help you with any of that. If that's something that you'd love my help with, uh, I can help. Reach out to me, dustinpeed.com, P-E-A-D. Hit the Let's Talk button, hop on my calendar. I would love to be able to help you with these steps and make it the best year ever as you create greater things together. Next week, we're going to talk about a, a topic that is super passionate for me, and it's all about the future. It is about future you. I cannot wait to talk to you about future you on next week's episode of Creativity Made Easy. I'll talk to you then.